also as well too. What's the difference between these three words and how can you add them to your speech? That's exactly what we're going to talk about in this video. Of course, I'm Jennifer from j4senglish.com and this channel is dedicated to helping you sound like a fluent, confident, natural English speaker. Now before we go any further, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new lesson. Now, let's dive in with this video. Also, as well, too. How can you use these three words confidently in your vocabulary? Well, first of all, let's talk about what these three words mean. All three are adverbs and all three have the same meaning. They mean in addition. So we use them when you're adding another point or when you're emphasizing on a point with additional information. Now, these three words may confuse you because although they have the same meaning, how they're used according to English sentence structure, specifically where they are in a sentence, their position within a sentence can change. So that's what we'll mainly be talking about in this lesson. So let's talk about when you can use all three interchangeably so it doesn't matter which one you use, they have the exact same meaning. That will happen when you use them at the end of a sentence. Now remember that the meaning is in addition, we use it to add an additional point. So because of that, there's most likely going to be two sentences, sentence one, and then sentence two, which adds additional information to sentence one, and then we add our adverb at the end of sentence two. For example, I could say, Kara's going to the conference. Ken's going. And here, at the end of the sentence, I could use as well, also, or too. Anyone is fine. They have no difference in meaning. Although they have no difference in meaning, I would say that as well is most commonly used in spoken English and it sounds the most natural to me. And following that too is also very commonly used in spoken English. It has a little bit more of an informal casual feel but still very commonly used. Now, I would say also is the least commonly used in spoken English. However, you can still use it. It's correct. I'm just letting you know how I hear them being used in terms of popularity. Let's take a look at another example where you can use all three at the end of the sentence and they have exactly the same meaning. I could say, I need to update the website and I need to finish the report and then you can use whichever adverb you like in terms of popularity as well to also. Let's talk about when you would only use to. In this case, it would be when you're having a conversation with someone, one person says something and you want to agree with them by saying, me too, me too. In this case, it sounds the most natural to use too. Maybe, maybe technically it's grammatically correct to say me as well, me also, but it doesn't sound natural and it's not something I hear. So in this case, you should use too, me too. So let me give you an example of what I mean. Let's say that we went to a party last night and I call you and I say, I had so much fun at the party. And you want to agree to this and you can say, me too, me too. Another example, I could say, 
I had pasta for lunch. Now, if you had pasta for lunch as well, notice I can say as well because it's at the end of the sentence. If you had pasta for lunch as well, then you could simply say me too. I had pasta for lunch. Me too. So in that scenario where you're responding to somebody, then you would just use me too. Now let's talk about also. Also is the least commonly used in spoken English, although it's commonly used in written English. And the placement of also is different from as well and to in the sense that also can be used at the beginning of a sentence. So remember, we still need sentence one and sentence two, but for sentence two, we can start with also. That isn't the case for as well and to. This only applies to also. And you're going to find this more in written English, although you can use this in spoken English as well. And notice I just said as well at the end of the sentence there. Now, when we use it at the beginning of a sentence, it's for the exact same reason. We're emphasizing a point or we're adding additional information to a point. I could say, make sure you wear a sweater. Also, bring a hat. So notice here, I'm connecting these two sentences. Now in sentence two, I'm putting also at the beginning. Now in spoken English, I would commonly say, make sure you wear a sweater and bring a hat as well. So these two sentences have exactly the same meaning. However, their structure is different and when they would be used is different because the first one is more commonly used in written English and the second one more common in spoken English. Now you could commonly use also at the beginning of a sentence when you're giving an instruction. So if you have two tasks that you want the person to do, you could identify task one and then identify task two, but at the beginning of task two, you would say also. So that would sound like, can you update the website? Also, can you edit the report? Now, if we were going to take this sentence and change it, so our adverb comes at the end, what would that sound like? So try that, try that in exercise, take that, add the adverb at the end and put it in the comments. What does it sound like? Can you update the website and edit the report as well? Or you could use also or to. All three would be correct. All right, so now you know how to use also, as well, and two, at the end of sentences, you know when you can only use me too, and you know how to connect two sentences using also at the beginning. That's quite a lot for today, so why don't we end the video here, and that will give you time to practice and review what we've covered. So of course, now's your time to practice, so I want you to leave an example in the comments, put one example sentence with the adverb at the end of your sentence, and I want you to get comfortable with also at the beginning of your sentence as well. Remember, in both of these cases, you're going to need two sentences or two parts of one sentence, okay? And I can't wait to read your comments. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button, share it with your friends, and of course, subscribe. Now before you go, make sure you head on over to my website, j4senglish.com, and download your free speaking guide. In this guide, I share six tips on how to speak English fluently and confidently. And until next time, happy studying. All right, look at you sounding really fluent and natural. Make sure you do those practice exercises I gave you and don't forget to subscribe. Can't wait to see you next time. Bye.